Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is part three of the Harman Kardon retrofit on my BMW F20. And today we're gonna to be installing the top Hi-Fi Harman Kardon amp, which is the 674 to my BMW F20. And we're also gonna be installing the Dash Harman Kardon speaker and tweeter to my F20 also. Now many of you are probably wondering why I'm not installing the subs. That will be on a later video and I'm gonna show you why that is, how to wire them properly because they are different from the factory and you have to do some alterations to fit them under the seats. But we are gonna be fitting the amp and the tweeter and the dash speaker. What? God damn, get it done, will you? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes cause his memories. We running through New York so you know. Okay guys, so what we're gonna go ahead and do you just remove this dash trim right here. You just wanna lift it up. It's held on by clips and they will lift up. Gotta pop them up bit by bit. They are stiff down in the dash and just be aware of that. But once they're up, it should be, as you will see. Just like that you'll be able to get it out very, very easily. Just like that, and then it takes it out. Now if you see in here, you've got the speaker, and this is where the tweeter will sit in between here. Now this is the speaker we're gonna be removing. I believe they're T15 bolts. So we're gonna remove all three of them, and then we're gonna put the speaker, the Harman Kardon one, back in. See here, these are T15 torque screws. So we just remove them. Now, if you notice as well on this car, BMW make everything very, very easy for you to do. The dash cutout is exactly the same for the Hi-Fi and for the top Hi-Fi. So you've already got the dash cutout there for the Harman Kardon tweeter, which many people don't even know about that you can actually do. Now just for the last one, which is just down here. You wanna be careful with this bolt and that one is out, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is lift the speaker up, which is right here, and you'll see it's on the connector, which is behind here. You wanna be careful not to yank that. Straight out, it comes like that. Okay guys, so now as you'll see there, the Harman Kardon speaker and tweeter are now installed. As I said to you, BMW from factory, leave it open. And this is purely because if anyone changes their mind when they've made the order, all BMW have to do is change the speakers and put the tweeter in place. And that's why the hole is already there. So if you are looking to do this retrofit, you can see there is very, very easy. And you've seen in my other videos, everything is ready to actually go and you can literally fit it with ease. Now there is a lot of people who believe to disconnect this speaker because it interferes with the vocals of the car when the music's up loud, but I'm choosing to actually leave it connected because this is the way it would have come out from factory. So now we've got the Harman Kardon speaker and also the tweeter facing properly. So actually give nice clear sound coming from the dash. So all it is is to remove all these and the plugs are very, very simple. Doesn't matter which way they go around, tweeter and speaker, it's just all the same. 
plug them all in, screw it back up and put your dash cover back on. Dash cover is very, very straightforward. You just clip it back on and then close it and then clips back in perfectly. Okay guys, so now it's time to just reinstall the dash vent. So now all you're gonna do is locate it just like this, pull it on top and then just lock it back down. You will have to use some force to press it down. Just like that. And it will clip into place once it's down, just like that. So if you can see there, that's all the trim back secure. So you just wanna make sure it's all flat and in line with the dash and then that is the speaker trim back on. Okay, so now we're gonna be installing the top Hi-Fi Harman Kardon amplifier. Now, if you'll see, I've already disconnected the plug. It's just a pigtail plug, just pushes down on the top here, and it just moves, slide the connector over. Now, I think it's gonna be easy to get a spanner in there than a socket, so I'm gonna get an eight mil spanner and just unloosen this bolt, which is down here, so I can slot the Hi-Fi amp out and put the Harman Kardon one in. Okay, so we're just going to release this. As I said, it was easier to get a spanner on it than to get a ratchet. And that's the 8mm bolt you're going to want to be careful with. Now the Hi-Fi system should just slot out of this casing. Just like that. And I'm going to try and bring it round this way. You'll see there, that is the Hi-Fi amp out of the car with a bit of a struggle, but it's a lot fatter than the Harman Kardon one. If you see there, it's just a normal Hi-Fi, no Harman Kardon, it looks very plain. But if you see on the connections there, and if you see there as well, they are the same connections, both on the Hi-Fi and the Harman Kardon. Now, a lot of people don't know that, but if you see here, it doesn't have the most fiber optic cable, which if you're trying to do this on an F10 or F01, you'll realize it's got a most fiber optic network cable there as well. This is why it's an easy retrofit on the F20s and F30s. So I'll just show you that the plug goes in the same way as the other one. So if you see, it just slots in and the same plug goes in perfectly with no issues. Now, it's just a case of getting it back round here and just like that it's now back on it just slides on and then we're going to put the bolt back in and that is the amp now installed in there as you saw it could be a bit fiddly to actually get in there to actually remove the amp because the hi-fi one is very very big compared to the Harman Kardon one, but it is doable without having to remove this whole panel again. As you saw, the Hi-Fi one is very, very big and fat compared to the Harman Kardon one. Um, the only difference is this delivers more power to all the speakers and the tweeters, where the Hi-Fi one was okay, and it was delivering actually optimum sound for normal people, but if you want it louder, it will start to distort and you'll start losing the bass as well. Now, many people think you need to install the Harman Kardon subs as well, but the only difference is that the normal subs, the Hi-Fi ones are three ohm, and the top Hi-Fi ones are four ohm, which give it just a bit more power. Depending on your listening volume and how loud you're actually gonna to listen to your music, it isn't really gonna benefit you to change the subs, but it is something I'm gonna be changing the subs anyway to fully complete this Harman Kardon retrofit. Okay guys, so as you've seen there, I've now completed the full Harman Kardon retrofit in my BMW F20. Now, as I said, this can be done on your BMW F30 also. And I just wanted to state, you do not have to code that amp if you do not want to. If you have the Hi-Fi system already, the amp will work without any coding needed. And so will your active sound design if you have it fitted to your BMW also. The sound is so much better, especially at higher up volumes, and the volume is more controlled, especially to the subs and to all the speakers, even without coding. It is much, much better. I can tell you that for sure. 
I've been in the car, listened to it at full volume, and the sound is crisp and clear, even at the highest of volumes, even with the amp fitted without the coding. I never actually had to code this amp. I just pull it in and it's working faultlessly without even changing any parameters. So if you have got an F20 or an F30 and you do want to go ahead and um, retrofit the Harman Kardon system, it is very, very easy to do. The only time you're going to need to code it is if you have the most fiber optic cable, then you will need to code it to link on with all the other modules in your car, if that's an F10 or F01. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video and that is the Harman Kardon sound system retrofit fully complete in my BMW F20. And if you are questioning why I didn't fit the subs, well, the Hi-Fi subs sound perfect at even full volume. There's no distortion, no baffling from the subs. They sound absolutely perfect, crisp and clear and very, very bassy, even at high volume. So therefore, I am not gonna be changing the subs under the seat as there is no need and it is just a waste of money. So thank you very much for watching guys, this is BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.